Welcome back everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying the videos that you're watching. And we finally got five hours on this new mower. So it is time to change the break-in oil as well as the filter. So, and a couple other different things I want to look at. I hope you guys are enjoying the footage of this because it's, it looks like a race car first of all. And actually it's moving across the yard faster than the old mower that we had, which was the RZT Cub Cadet 54 inch. So we gained a little bit in size, but we also gained some horsepower and we updated by 11 years. So that's a plus. I'm going to pull this thing out of the garage and let it warm up for a few minutes before we change the oil. And I'll show you what we're going to use and let's get started. Thanks for watching. filter here on the right hand side of the machine and we have our drain hose for the oil on the left hand side of the machine. And get our pan stuck in here and see what tools we're going to need. And our drain hose is right here on the left hand side of the machine. I'm going to pull that up there to get a little bit easier access for it. I have a 3 quarter inch wrench and a 7 16 and I'm just going to loosen the plug up first and once we get this guy just about finger tight. We're going to go ahead and stick it down back in the frame. That way we don't get oil all over our machine. Go ahead and slide my wrench right here on top of that so we'll hold that hose down. Right. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take the dipstick out of the tube over here, and that'll give that a little bit of air so it can drain out. and set that on a paper towel. By removing that, that gives the engine a little bit of air and help that oil flow out of there a little better. Now we're going to give that a couple minutes. And while we're waiting for that to drain, I'll show you what we're going to need as far as a filter and two quarts of oil. And I did pick up the Kohler brand 10W30 there. And this is the Kohler 7000 series 24 horse motor. And this is the filter you would need. Let me see if I can get that camera to zoom in on that number for you. So that's the 520502-S1 from Kohler. And I am going to put a oil filter wrench along with my oil filter pliers to get that filter out of there. Normally the first oil change, those filters are really tight from the factory. We'll see how we do. All right, so first we're gonna try our pliers here. Like I said, normally these things are really tight on the first from the factory. This is no exception. That's on there. There we go. Yeah. 
That was definitely on there. Get these guys out of the way now. Now I'm going to wait for oil to stop draining over here and then I'll bring that pan over a little closer so I can set that filter right down in there. There we go. Then we gotta clean some oil up there. I'm gonna leave that set on that tire for right now. Keep our paper tiles up so we we'll catch the rest of it. Now while we are waiting for the oil to finish draining, go ahead and make our new filter. I'm going to put about this much oil into the bottom of that, bring it right up to just before the threads. That way that it can soak into this paper. And when we start the engine back up, it won't be doing a dry start through that filter. Now the manual calls, this again, this is the Kohler 24 horse 7000 Pro series. And the manual says it will hold two quarts. Okay, I'm going to let that soak in. And at this point too, I'm just going to dab my finger right here on this oil and go ahead and soak our gasket up. That way when it seals up, it'll slide right on there nice and tight for us. I'm going to spin that guy on there as tight as I can with my hands and then give it just a little bit more with the filter wrench. Get this paper towel out of the way now. Right about there. Now this machine does have an hour meter on it. But if you chose to, you could write the date and hours on your oil filter there for a reference. And another thing I really like, they did put an information sticker underneath the seat there for us. And we'll tell you the spark plug number, the oil filter number, and type. So they've got a lot of information for you right there at the bottom of the seat to make it easy when you have to do this again. Alright, we're ready for that to come out of there and we'll put our last part of the two quarts of oil in and then we'll check it. One thing about it, everything was accessible. I would say that on a commercial application, because they suggest 50 hours on oil change, that some of you boys are probably changing this stuff once a week.
So that's exactly two quarts. And we will see. It does not say in the manual to add any extra if you're changing the filter as well. So normally it's two quarts plus a pint or so if you're changing the filter. But the manual just said two quarts and we're going to try it. Dipstick back in place and we'll give it a few minutes and let it set here. Wipe off any excess oil we had spill. You really don't mind doing something when it's set up to be convenient for you. I mean, that really couldn't have been any easier. Alright, okay, let's see where we're at. Yep, right to the bottom of the top hole there. I'm going to start this thing up. We'll let it run for a second and then we'll check it again. Get these glasses. And that should be more than enough. Make sure we've got our oil filter full now. We check it this last time, we should know what we need. Settle down a little bit. I'm going to check that one more time. It still looks a little low to me. It's hard to see that new oil. Yeah, I think we're right up to the bottom of the holes there. Good. Check to make sure we don't have any leaks. I think we're set. For the drain plug, they recommend 10 foot-pounds of torque to reinstall the plug. For the oil filter, uh, they recommend hand-tight, and I went just a little bit tighter than that. I don't want that thing vibrating loose. So, easy. I mean, it's just absolutely easy, and I'm ready for the next 50 hours of uh, mowing now. Uh, from this point on, it'll be 50 hours on an oil change. And again, this is the uh, 7000 series Kohler Pro. 24 horse motor on here. Uh, just real easy, accessible, everything was nice to get to and uh, it's raining outside so not a bad day to change the oil. And uh, <clears throat> if you guys are on the market for a zero turn, it will speed up your mowing process. I mean these things can mow some grass. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I really hope some of this information is helpful for you. I'm going to take this race car out for a couple laps. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.